Hello and welcome to this quick fix of a Lenovo Legion laptop. At least hopefully it'll be a quick fix. It will, trust me. So I've got a few Lenovo laptops here. A couple of Legion 5s, a Legion 5i, a Yoga here. This is the laptop we're going to concentrate on today. I'm going to show you a common problem where the lights come on. So you'll be working away on the computer and it'll just keep going ba-dum, ba-ding, ba-ding, dinging away. The lights keep flashing, changing color on you when you're not actually changing the settings to make it change. You're just touching the laptop either on the keypad, other parts of the laptop, and it's triggering off the lights. So that's what we're going to look at. Let me show you exactly what I mean. If that is not what you want to know today about your Lenovo laptop, then take a look at my other videos, maybe up here at the end, down in the description. I'm going to be doing a few different videos on these, putting in hard drives, putting in memory, stuff like that on these different models here. So if that interests you, then consider hitting that subscribe button and checking out some of the other videos. So this is the problem that I'm talking about. I'll just turn off some lights here just to make it a little bit easier, hopefully to see the colors change on the keyboard. Leave some lights on, of course. So if you have this particular issue where you're touching either your, oh, just did it then. So you heard the boom boom which is annoying, and the lights have come on on the keyboard. Now, of course, it's an RGB keyboard. It flashes, the first setting, it just flashes through all the different colors, and it, it's damn annoying. Um, then you have to cycle through with the function button and the space key until you turn them completely back off again or put them onto the setting that you want. So there we go, we've got them turned off again, and then you might be working away. Dun, da, 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 tapity tap, and then, ah, oh, there, oh, there it goes again, on and off, on and off just by touching parts of the <laughs> laptop that aren't even the keys. And so it happens when you're clicking on the pad. I won't click on it too much because I don't want to set anything off on my screen. But as you can see, it's just beeple, beeple, beeple. So I was doing this for a few weeks, driving me absolutely insane. It also does it like when you pick it up. You pick it up and it would do that. So it was driving me nuts having to continually turn the lights off because they're driving me mad. So, this is what I did to fix it. Now, I've heard a lot of people say these are really difficult to get apart on YouTube. I've seen people say they take three to four hours. Lots of people are saying that. And it's like, why would you spend three to four hours taking the back off a laptop? So, you have 11 screws on here. Around the outside, you've got 10. One there in the middle. And they're not done up very tight. Uh, so, all you need, small Phillips screwdriver. I've got a little electric one here. And just take all of those out. Just loosen them all off. So go around and do that, remove all the screws, and then I'll catch you on the next step. Now if you have just tipped out your screws, you may be panicking because you're now going, oh no, some of them are short and some of them are long. But if you've got a magnetic screwdriver like this, you don't of course have to tip them out. They will come out as you unscrew them. And you'll know where they came from, but don't fear if you have tipped them out because I'm going to tell you where they go of course. All the little short ones, one, two, three, four, go along the front there. And then the remaining eight are the longer ones. Pretty simple. Now, depending which model you have, you may have one with only 10 screws. It may be missing the screw in the middle, in which case you've got the four short screws along the front and all the rest are these longer screws, which are longer than the ones I showed you from the previous laptop. Once they are all out, you then need to remove it. Now, I like to do it with the aid of one of these. Now. If you have kids in your house or you are an adult nerd like me you will know what this is this is a lego brick separator now you don't have to use one of these you just need something with a thin plastic edge on it because you're going to want to ping this around the edge to help get it off and not break the the little tangs that are holding it in place so if you've got one of those real good if not you can use something else than guitar pick credit card something like that Anyway, this is the way I do it, and I find it's much quicker than what I see other people try and do. So, just don't panic, okay? <laughs> get the corner, get your fingernail in there a bit, give it a little bit of a bend. So just bend the inside down there, and then it will pop up. And you can just then go around with this and just gently pop it off. 
if you break a couple of the little tangs inside, it's not the end of the world because you're going to be screwing this thing back together. It's not the plastic tangs that are holding it in place. So just go around, clip those off. So the front, well, what's the front at the moment? Upside down here, it is also sort of the front of the laptop if you want to call it that. Pops off a bit easier than it does around the sides here. This point here where the vent is, it's a bit thicker. Instead of it coming off around there, you need to come around this area here, get under this side to ping it off. Get the camera in the way, there we go. So that all pops off. So continue doing that all the way around your laptop back. If you've got long fingernails, it will help. So we are now inside our laptop. And the problem today is pretty easy to fix. I'll tell you what all these other things are in other videos if you want to see. If so, let me know down in the comments what it is you want to see. And up in the top corner there may be some videos. But all we're going to do is put a packer here. Because basically the whole computer is flexing. And pushes here on the battery. And this is what causes our weird little problem. Um, took me a while to work it out why it was doing it. But it is a very easy fix. So, what I have here is some good old fashioned 80 GSM. <laughs> paper simple as that and I have three four pieces so four pieces thick small like that so we're only talking no bigger than two inches square 50 mil square and you're going to want to put it right by this little pin here this pin should be holding everything apart nicely so that you don't have the issue you're having but it doesn't so if you put that just there slightly over that pin and over your battery put it back together you should be all good now it took me a few shots of this when I first did it I put in something a bit thicker a little bit of card and didn't work I put in a little bit of sponge and it was it was making it too far the other way so basically I couldn't turn the lights on at all so I experimented until I worked out four pieces of paper was the right thickness for me now your laptop may be slightly different the issue may be slightly different and so you may need three pieces of paper or five pieces of paper so you might have to Put it together and put it, pull it apart a couple of times. But don't go putting all the screws back in. Just clip the back back on, flip it over, try it out, see if you've solved the problem or not. If you haven't, unping it again, put a different piece of paper in, try it again. Eventually you will get there. While you've got your laptop open, it's a good chance as well to give it a bit of a clean, clean your fans out, get any dust out of there. Anyway, when you've got your piece of paper set in position, you need to put your cover back on, of course. Now just be careful when you put it on. Put it on slowly. You don't want to dislodge where you have put your piece of paper. And just make sure this isn't touching anything electrical. You don't want to start a little fire inside your laptop. Um, and then you just need to clip this all back in position. Now, it's not difficult to do. Let me just adjust the camera. It's not hard. Just be careful, just do it slowly, just sort of work your way around and clip it back on. Once it's clipped in position and you know that your laptop is working with the pieces of paper, you can then screw it back up again. So when you put the screws back in, don't over tighten them, just gently do it. Remember the short ones are at the front, I just like to do them up by hand, just as soon as you feel the resistance, tiny little turn and then stop. So long ones at the back and in the middle, and the little short ones go in the front. So go around, put all those in, like that, flip it over, check it again, and you should be good to go. Now I did this to a laptop about two months ago and it's still working fine so it seems to be a very quick cheap easy fix so I hope that helped I will finish putting these in and we'll just give this one last check right all screwed back together flip her over take it for another test drive here if the lights aren't coming on at all take out paper if they're still coming on too frequently add more paper pretty simple so i hope that was helpful for you in the next video on the same laptop and some of the other laptops i've got sitting here i'm going to be putting in some hard drives some ssd drives 
and yeah I will show you how to do that. So as you can see now when I push along here nothing happening. Lights are not coming on. They will only come on when I push the function button and the space bar like it should be. So there we go. Different colors might be a little bit hard to see here in this light. So thanks for watching. If you found that helpful, please consider hitting that thumbs up button and the subscribe button and all that stuff. And if you want to know more about these Legion laptops and other little things, if you want to know about what's inside and where to put your hard drives, your SSD drives, your all that stuff. Okay, I'm going to be doing a few more vids, so keep an eye out for those. Thank you for watching. If you have any other issues with these laptops, the ones that I've shown you at the beginning of the video, then let me know what they are down in the comment section and I might be able to help you out in a future video or I may have already made one and I can steer you in the right direction. So thanks for watching and I will see you on another one if you have an issue with your Legion soon.